Hello everybody, it's Tony Franklin here, fretless bassist from The Firm with Jimmy Page and Paul Rogers, from Blue Murder with John Sykes and Carmine Apice, from Whitesnake, etc, etc. They call me the fretless monster and I'm everywhere that your browser is. Yeah, you like that? Like many of us, I was a long time Pro Tools user, did very well with it. And then I started investigating Studio One. And wow, it's like, this is actually pretty cool. And then when I saw Sphere, it's like, wow, all that comes with it, all the, the effects, the plugins, the sound sets. And then, so I was like, I dived in, and why not? Why not? And so I dived in, and then I discovered, I was up and running on the same day that I installed it, doing recording sessions, because I really didn't want to have a break. And I couldn't afford to have a break, so I wanted to keep going, you know, with the productivity and everything. And it exceeded my expectations, honestly. Studio One, very quickly up and running and flowing very fast with creativity as well. And then started diving into Sphere and everything that that brought. It's like, wow, I think, like me, you'll be pleasantly surprised and all that it has to offer, all that's included. I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is, all that it comes with. So I could go on and on and on, but I also want to share with you some of the presets, the effects chains that I made that are specifically for my fretless bass, sounds that I regularly use. You can use them for the fretted as well. So let's dive into those and I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail about the individual ones. All right, here we go. First preset is everyday fretless and it's exactly as it sounds. It's something you can use every day on fretless or fretted. It adds a bit of punch, clarity, a little width, there's a bit of chorus on there, but not too much and it really won't boost the levels too much. It just gives it focus and helps it sit in the mix. An everyday fretless sound, which can be a starting point, or it might be, might be all you need. Fretless grind. You know, you can really add a lot of overdrive to the bass. I'm always surprised how much you can. And with the fretless bass, it just gets so heavy. It will add level. It's a big ambient amp sound with a lot of overdrive. Some some compression because you got a lot of you'll push in a lot of virtual air there. But uh, it's it'll add that it doesn't lose its focus or its punch. It still keeps the clarity and yet adds a lot of dirt. And once again, I'm amazed how much you can add when all the other instruments are in, it just helps it to sit in the mix and add a, still keep that drive and punch. Yeah, I originally called it fretless dirt. <laughs> but uh, we decided to call it fretless grind. Either way, it's dirty and it's grindy. Moonlight's big chorus. Any fans of the firm will know that reference. We used the, the mixing desk, the, the effects, high-end harmonizer, uh, an even tied harmonizer and beautiful chorus uh, sound that it created and then a beautiful reverb as well. And we rode those. On a, on a few of the tracks, you can really hear it. And uh, you can get into the automation with these, with these effects. 
ride those chorus, ride the chorus and ride the reverb too. I was surprised at the time because it's like uh, Jimmy was right there and he was, he was pushing those levels and encouraging me. I was left to do it and he said, yeah, push it, push it. And I'm like, wow, almost sounds like it's too much, but it ed ended up just being such a, a beautiful sound. Uh, I would have not necessarily have gone there, but you're hearing it's like, <laughs> Beautiful. I could play would play that one all day. It's just so inspiring and so classic fretless, really. And I wanted. I spent a lot of time on this dialing in because they were expensive effects that were used on that. And so to be able to capture that virtually, I really put some time in dialing in and mess. As I said, mess with those aut the automation on the the chorus and the reverb as well it just adds a lot of depth and mood and atmosphere to the fretless bass so have at it blue billy bass octave any fans of blue murder will get that reference too i love the old analog foot pedals the octaves they're so thick and, and just they track so well and had that fatness, that grind to them. They had a bit of overdrive to them, but they tracked so well. And so I, I spent a lot of time getting this because I've used it on a, quite a few times over my career on, on record and live. It just adds that instant depth and you can blend in the amount of octave. And so very, very powerful, especially on the fretless bass. Of course, it works equally well on the fretted as well, but on the fretless bass with the uh, slides. <laughs> Works better towards the middle and the higher notes. Same as the original pedals because it would not track so well on those lower notes. It just gets too low. And so if you're gonna do those lower notes, make them short. And of course, how can we resist? We've got to do it right. We've got to put all the effects on at the same time. I have no idea what I'm getting into here. It might be disastrous. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 